Hi, and welcome to another sunny summer day. I'm joined here with James O'Keefe, your fearless captain of the Massachusetts chapter. Oh, hi. And a man who wears many hats. Uh, I'm Joseph Onorowski. I'm the former treasurer of both the U.S. Pirates and um, of the Massachusetts chapter. And I am running for general court. And I am going to be on the ballot. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. You're, you are our fourth candidate on the ballot. Um, hopefully there will be more in the future. But for now, this is a great achievement. Well, but here's the big thing, and what might set me apart from many other candidates that have come under the Massachusetts chapter is if I don't win, I'm going to keep trying. And I'm, gonna, I'm here for the long haul. Um, so, uh, Mr. O'Keefe. So, uh, yeah, um, so who are you? Uh, so I'm a longtime Lowell resident. I was born in Lowell, and even though I spent some time uh, up in New Hampshire, uh, you know, so growing up in New Hampshire with my father, Massachusetts mother, so I am both, uh, my father was a staunch Republican, my mother is a staunch Democrat. So I, I honestly, I see them as both being right and both being wrong. So I never really fit into either party. Uh, I don't really adhere to one or the other. So that's why I've always been a free agent. For a long time, I was a libertarian, you know, and very much middle. I'd rather make a smart decision than a dumb one. So I've always taken my time when it came to politics and really wanting to understand an issue. But really growing up, I went to a trade school. I specialized in computers and business, bookkeeping specifically, and so information processing and understanding systems. Um, and so after I did college and, and really figured out where I want to be, I ended up starting a business. I worked 10 years in retail and sales, and so I just really spent a lot of my years understanding people. And understanding people, understanding systems, um, kind of naturally just fell into politics. Um, and then when it came to the point where we had a certain Trumpy Dumpty go into politics, I realized that if he can make it into politics, I can make it into politics. And so I don't want to be Trumpy Dumpty by any means, but my whole thing is that to me it became something that I can do because anybody can run um, not necessarily anyone can win but anyone can run and my whole stance when it comes to politics is I want to understand why the rules are the way the rules are so if they're not working or if they're oppressive let's get rid of them it doesn't make sense to have rules that just affect, adversely affect any one group or people. Um, and so I am very much for trying to understand the history of whatever the rules are, and if those histories are bigoted, racist, terrible, then let's get rid of them. If they make sense, let's keep them in place. So very much the part that brought me into and really made me find a home as a pirate is the fact that is the fact that we have a scientific approach to politics does it work uh, are we not sure about it okay let's do a test group all right that's that's when we did the oregon thing and we were like okay no cops there and then that went bad okay put the cops back you know like the very fact that we can debate and we fight over ideas but not the people you know it, it's a different way of doing politics and i I love being a pirate. So, so fundamentally, I'm an entrepreneur who still, still is in that realm. But as I've started my campaign, I went and I became. Uh, I, I'm working construction now because, to me, one of our biggest issues facing our day is the homelessness. So I'm trying to understand the hit, the whole industry, from the, the breaking ground level and 
I want to understand the people who are making that happen. Who, and we always say, oh, construction, it takes so long, it takes so long. But now that I've worked with the people on the front lines of who are building, they are busting their hump. And not only that, it has to be perfect whenever they do it. And the, the precision and the skill by which the people, the unions, the different unions that are working together and the challenges that they face have become a lot more personal for me. So I'm not the type of person who wants to lead from behind a shield. I want to be accessible and I want people to be able to approach me and feel free that they can approach me, they can talk to me, and have a conversation. I don't want to attack anybody. I don't want to, I don't want to blame anybody for a problem. I, I want to just find a solution. And I want to find real solutions. And so, I've seen a lot of the politics become very decisive, and become very destructive, and we're attacking each other in ways that are just not acceptable. Not in a, a free and polite society. And so, the, the, where I want to take us is to move past our differences and realize that it doesn't matter if you're Democrat, Republican, pirate, octopus, uh, or spaghetti monster. It doesn't matter. The, what matters is, are people suffering? What can we do to help? So, so uh, what do you seek to do? So, mainly I seek to get in and put in a couple really solid bills. Um, and just go what's in your, there. So that's, what, what's your agenda? My agenda is, what's the opposite of corruption? Transparency. What's, what's the opposite of oppression of the individual? Upholding individual autonomy. Um, these are things that are like core pirate principles. And, and the reason why they're core pirate principles is because they put, they, they help make accountable those who will be accountable. Um, oftentimes we use the slogan, we're anti-corporation. But what we're, we're, corporations have been around, towns are corporate. So it's not necessarily the corporation part. We're just anti-non-accountability. And so I want to bring back that accountability. So if you make a poor decision and it destroys lives to be held accountable. And how do you make a account, accountability? You get the transparency. You pierce the corporate veil, and you make things transparent. You know, and it's it's not about right or wrong to me. It's about making sure corruption cannot foster. You know, I don't want to be a politician forever. In fact, I if things weren't the way they are, I wouldn't even want to be a politician. I would want to be an entrepreneur, I'd want to be providing for my family and doing a, the future right. You know, living quietly in some place that's peaceful, you know, sipping things out of a coconut, like we all want to, but the quality of life and the sheer unhappiness that is now plaguing our nation is something that cannot be allowed to stand. We lived in a golden era. Even under the fears of imminent war and destruction of all, there was a golden era that we can reclaim again. You know, and we can do so peacefully. We can do so without hurting anybody. And I just want to get us back there. You know, I'm not looking to put overbearing government. I'm not looking to put in insane taxes. I'm very conservative when it comes to policies. I'm not looking to spend a ton of money. I'm looking to balance the budget. How do you balance a budget in your house? You make sure that the money coming in is more than the money going out. And eventually, even if it's only a few dollars, eventually you're going to have a surplus. Yet, there are people who are on the left who I agree with for the most part, but then they're like, spend, 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 spend. It doesn't make any sense. But, it also doesn't make any sense not supporting our allies. Not supporting the countries that are upholding our commitments. There's a happy medium. And all it takes is a little consideration and a little bit, of, a, a little bit more from our leaders to do the right thing.
if they want me to go away, they can start acting right. I'll go away. But if they're not going to act right, I'm going to go there and I'm going to continue to annoy the tar out of them. So, what, what is your camp? You, you come onto the ballot, you and your volunteers uh, got you on the ballot. What are you doing in the time between now and election day to meet with, um, to meet with voters? Uh, are you are you taking campaign contributions? I don't take any con campaign contributions because I cannot be bought. The only people I want to be accountable to are the people who vote for me. You know, and so uh, I'm doing a zero dollar campaign, and the reason for that is the I want to meet people face to face. I want to knock on their door, and towards the end of the campaign, I'm going to send out a flyer with who I am and what my responsibilities are, what I want to do. And the reason for that is to make my campaign very targeted and show that I'm not just about not wasting resources, not wasting funds, not taking funds in to line my pockets. That's not what I'm about. I'm about doing the next right thing and using money responsibly so it has the highest impact and does the most good. And that doesn't just go for the, po the money of the taxpayers, it goes for my own money. I want to do the next right thing, and I want to make sure that uh, the only money I'm really spending is money on sneakers, as I'm hitting the ground, as I'm talking to people, and just do, do what's right, you know? It used to be the American way that we, we help our neighbors, we, we talk, if somebody's in need of help, you give them a hand. And we can get back to that. We can do the next right thing. So, so you're looking for additional volunteers to help you go door to door, correct? I, I wouldn't complain about it. I mean, uh, the more the merrier. But uh, volunteers for myself, volunteers for the Massachusetts chapter, volunteers if you want to help out on the national stage. We even, we're an, an international party. We, we span the globe. We have reaches in countries both democratic and non-democratic. And so we're a different type of politics. We're not about we're not about left, right. We're about doing the right thing for the most good for the most people. You know, we're still a political party, but we're it's hard to explain, um, but we're so much good has been done by us on a regular basis. And really what, one of the big things is the, the whole internet. And one of the, uh, another one of the big principles is the people who are making the policies about the internet are people who don't fundamentally understand the internet. Because the rules that they are making are just not going to work, or they're just going to get circumnavigated in two seconds. And one of the things that should be really applied to online and your phone and that is that the same HIPAA laws that protect your health information should protect your digital information. We should hold those accountable who are sharing information for profit in order to maximize, uh, maximize profits. Uh, and I'm talking about targeted ads, I'm talking about all that stuff. That stuff should be protected. Who you are should be protected. People should have a right to privacy and should have a right to decency and dignity. You know? Now, if you're putting that out there and if you want to be in the public fa face, maybe not so much. So I'm willing to sacrifice my own privacy, my own, my own digital footprint, in order to make sure that those who aren't ready to take that leap or go into public life can have that, you know? So what, as we, as we wrap this up, uh, what is the final thing you want people to know about you and your campaign? So, I can't be bought. Uh, I, am, I am there to do the right thing for them. And I am more than happy to listen to them and if you want to contact me, you can contact me at joseph.p.onorowski at, at gmail. You can reach me anytime. I don't, 
I get a lot of emails, so I might not respond to you right away, but I will eventually respond to you. And if you want to reach me, you can reach me through the Mass Pirates. And if I can't get to you, I'm a pirate will. If you want to join us and help us make a, a notable change, um, you don't necessarily have to just help me. We do a lot of good things. One of my favorite things that we do is the fact that we go and educate people on how to keep themselves safe online. How to, and we really want to know and fight against this, the nanny state, the surveillance state. So, one of the things that it should be a two—it's a two-party consent. So, if you're recording somebody against their will, you know. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. You're allowed to sue them, but there's no teeth in that. There's no, there's nothing stopping them from, from recording you and being like, ha 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 ha, I'm recording you anyways. You know, I've gone through instances where people were recording me, um, and I asked them to stop and they don't. There's no, you know, and. There's, there's a right to decency, especially if you're in your own home. So, I think one of the big things that we can do is making it so that the, the Fourth Amendment and due process is still upheld. I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm going to push for. And just the, the transparency piece. Those are the two major things that are, like, the absolute, uh, if we, I get in, I have to do those. So when you say the Fourth Amendment, you mean uh, the, like the digital privacy and okay. Uh, so one of the things and that's police going on not taking the, your stuff, not not suing your stuff and taking it. Simple asset forfeiture. Oh uh, well, yeah, not a very big fan of that either. Um, especially if you're just carrying around a large sum of money, they can just take it. And be like, nope, it's mine now. And excuse me, what? Um, there should always be due process, and you should always be fairly compensated for for what is taken from me. So where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me at onoroski.org, at O-N-O-R-O-S-K-I dot org. Um, yes, I understand I need to update that, but it will uh, get updated soon. Um, and then you can find me at masspirates.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, even uh, we have the U.S. chapter as well. Uspirates.org. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, Jamie, thank you for coming out here. I know it's it's incredibly warm and sunny. It's uh, a lovely day. It is gorgeous, but I can feel my vampiricness <laughs> get crispified. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm all for anyone who wants to run to run, and I want to support that. You know, that was a that was a lesson for me that I had to learn that literally anyone can run. And if you have good ideas and you want to see some real changes, the worst thing that can happen is you don't get elected. You know, it's a little bit of effort, but you can have major changes. And that's really what it's about, is making those major changes. Even if I don't get elected, if they adopt my policies, I've already won. And if they don't adopt my policies, I'm not going away until they do. You know, because the policies that I'm looking to implement are ones that will protect the American people. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want the right, the freedom to pursue happiness. You know, not necessarily guaranteeing happiness, because happiness is found from within, but we're allowed to pursue it. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me, Joe, and good luck with your campaign. Thank you.